is up guys, Shadow here, and welcome back to another video where today I think we're going to be starting off here in the industrial district because we have some base things we want to do today obviously, but we also need to get this done and this is obviously going to be our villager trading hall. Now I've been getting villagers ready over here uh, to be brought over and we have little over, not little over, we have almost all of them that we need. We need one, two, um, three, four? more villagers in total and we already have a couple in here so we already have all the villagers we actually need so this guy's supposed to be in here i think a cat pushed him out you're out of line buddy you're lucky you get to live but this actually would have been done a while ago except uh turns out this guy in here let me see if i can get a good look at him can i just see him from up here yeah he Straight up just disappeared. He didn't get struck by lightning, turned into a witch and despawn. He didn't get killed by a player. He didn't hop in the bed and spawn elsewhere. He just up and disappeared. We even had um, the admin on the server come and check things out. And yeah, he, j he just, um, he Houdini'd himself out of there somehow. And then we really just don't know what happened to him. So that, uh, yeah, that guy used to be in there and now um, it's making villagers again. So that's good. Uh, but now that we have all of the villagers ready, well, not ready, uh, some of them are still in the tube, but we have all the materials, we have all the villagers we need, uh, we will need job source blocks and redstone, but I think the redstone I might do after. But the main thing is getting this done and the flooring done, because I think what I might also want to do is make a glass fog effect with either white or black glass. If I do it with black glass, it might be a little too dark. If I do it with white glass, it might contrast pretty well with the black stone. And, well, I think I might do the white glass first. If I don't like it, I'll change it to black in between videos or something. But I think without further ado, guys, I think it's time to speed things up and hop right into the time lapse. <laughs> the build for the most part done i'm not gonna do like i still need to do the roof and i need to do the back wall and kind of the entryway uh but i don't think i'm gonna do that until i have all the villagers in here so i've made this track and what i'm gonna do is i'm basically gonna put the villagers in go down there and then go into the zombie chamber or whatever and then you know kill them off but because we have to do this a very specific way uh, maybe I can show you guys one right after we do a little snooze because it looks like the sun's going down and oh we aren't the only ones online anymore but I guess we'll snooze anyway. Alright so we need to find something. What was it we needed? We needed um what are they called? Trap doors. There we go because we actually need to fly over here and we're going to need a trap door I think it's right he here. Here. No, it isn't right there. It is right on this one. Because we need the villager to A, not be able to fall down, or not be able to stay on the edge of the lectern when he's in here, depending on what one we're using. I think down here are going to be the farmers, so I guess that doesn't matter too much. 
Uh, but I'm gonna put the trapdoors on all of them just so they look symmetrical. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put trapdoors on all of them. But basically what I'm gonna do with the lectern guys is I need this here so I can break and destroy the lectern with them standing right here. Or with so I can place the lectern right here with them standing here without them moving in the way because I'm gonna need to be able to get all of the books. Uh, do we have the wood we need for for some composters? Because I want to see if we can get that done real quick. Uh, we should have wood somewhere. There it is. Uh, we only need I think we're gonna have six farmer villagers if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and grab all these. And I guess we'll just do the one composter for now because it doesn't really matter all that much anyway. Um, how do you make the composters? Is it just half slabs now? It is just half slabs now. It didn't used to be just half slabs. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll grab the first villager and we'll hopefully see how this goes. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Are all these lit up? They should be. All right, hopefully this goes well. We need it to. Go on. Go. Go. What are you doing? There we go. Go on. Onwards. Keep going. There we go. And that should give you the speed you need to get all the way down to there without us really having to do much of anything, actually. There he goes. Now, now he won't take forever. Look at that. All right, he should be falling down. Oh, wait, no. Please tell me you didn't just snag that um, thing there because that's actually going to be a little annoying if you did. All right, so what we need to do is block this off. And he did. That's real annoying. Oh, man, I'm going to have to move that. Is there? Are there any other blocks? Okay, if I destroy this, this should be the only block that is going to be an issue. Now, whoa. That was some lag, randomly. Ah, iron bars, that's what we need. And we sh should have two blackstone bits on us for the wall, sweet. All right, so we have this, and then we just gotta go over here, destroy this. Oh, wow, there's so, so many different things going on over here, it's absolutely insane. And now we can actually go ahead and take the zombie tunnel. This is how I put all the villagers in the uh, first one. I don't know if I showed that to you guys, so I'm gonna, well, basically go ahead and show you this one. Hopefully, this shouldn't be too big of an issue, though. So there's that. And then that. Uh-oh. Okay, so he took damage, and I think that's because of the trap door. But that isn't terrible. All right, and luckily, we have the trap door there, so we won't have any problem putting in this composter. So I'm glad we actually put that in there. It's going to make things a lot easier in the long run, I think. All right, so if we just do that... Now you're a farmer. Look at you. And then we'll need to, we'll want to lock your trades. Uh, if you guys are wondering what these are, I had to change up the redstone. Because if you guys remember when I showed you this redstone, um, basically what it is, I'll break it open so I can show you guys, is, I'll just break open the whole thing. Why not? It's, well, just this. The one thing I'm not going to break open to show you guys are those ones. I can actually log in my cam account. But I had to change it because this piece of redstone would have been visible where the uh, note blocks are and I think it looks a little better with the note blocks than it did with just the redstone being there. Uh, let me go ahead and log on my cam account though so I can show you guys what the redstone's looking like in case anyone wanted to uh, build anything like this. Alright so that's lit up but basically all this is is this piston, this um, observer, and then another observer basically facing up into this one and then one facing into that. And it fires off a zero tick pulse anytime that uh, gets pressed. So with the uh, blackstone here, what we can do is it'll fire off the one tick pulse. And it basically does the exact same thing that the other one does. Except there's a note block visible instead of a piece of redstone. Which I think looks a little bit better just because it's a little flush. And then at some point in time, I could, if I wanted to, make like a, an actual map and put this texture on it and then put item frames on these because this is actually a uh, hollow in between because of the way the glass texture thing works so that's something we could do in the future to kind of hide them a little bit more but it basically looks better than having the hole where you can see all of the redstone in i kind of didn't like that uh but yeah now i think it's time for us to basically fill in the rest of these which is going to take forever because we have to put 
47 more villagers in here. Specific ones. We have six more um, farmers, I believe. We also have an armor, a cartographer, a fisherman, a weaponsmith, and a toolsmith, and then 37 librarians, which all will need to be... Uh, all of those are going to need to be reduced prices, but luckily we still have a bunch of these potions, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Oh, this is just going to be a ginormous project, isn't it? And the villagers are in, and we have a gigantic mess to clean up at some point. But the villagers are in, uh, the zombies are not in. I actually covered up the zombie walkway to this one by accident and that one actually the zombies are not in but all the villagers are in with the proper trades like uh bows and everything they're all in order too like we have all of the armor then all of the bows and then fishing and then we have i think all the swords and then all the crossbows and then all the tridents basically all in a row but i got a massive wave of inspiration to go to the shopping district to start a little game and we have all the materials we have here. We need all of this granite, all this blackstone, uh, the stone cutter, and uh, maybe some other things. I think andesite, terracotta, and gold. Because uh, we're going to be building something in the shopping district. Uh, well, you guys are going to see it. It's trophies. We need to build those. So I'm taking a break from this for now. Uh, we'll come back to this later. And let's head over to the shopping district. Or I guess my base first. And then we'll head over to the shopping district. And we'll find ourselves a nice little plot for what we're about to do. All right, do we have orange terracotta or red terracotta anywhere? We have orange. I think orange will be enough, and I think we already have enough of that for what we need. Now we need andesite and some more granite. Uh, we have a granite box and an andesite box as well. We should not need any more than that. And then we needed gold. That's right. We don't need too much. Um, two stacks should do us pretty good. And then do we have any chests? Uh, we have a couple barrels we'll bring over to use. All right, now we can head over to the shopping district and hopefully get this all done today. It's not that big of a build, but it's going to definitely look cool. Hello, Mr. Shad. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, that's not you. That's Octo. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm jumping oh. in front of your shop right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice build, by the way. I pretty, think pretty that. Cool. I appreciate it. You guys haven't seen this yet. But yes, I have built a guardian farm. And he is right there, Mr. Shaddix, the ghost. Hello. I'm enough. How's Can it you... It's great. Um, Where's your magic trick? Show me your magic trick. What I'm enough one right now. Oh, what magic trick? Oh, the the, the disappearing trick. Yeah, the disappearing trick. Okay. You guys ready for this? So you have to have your um HUD on because... It's gone. It's, it's... gone. No, it's it's got to be on. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 on. I can't oh, see on. anything. Oh, I thought you said it's. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said it's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, you ready? When yeah, I I'm ready. To, when I say go, you're gonna hit F1. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Spook ghost. He's gone. He's gone. He's not here anymore, guys. Oh, he's back. What? Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, how you doing, Mr. Shad? What's up? I'm pretty good. So I had some questions about all this land that's going on over ah, here. Ah, yes, yes. What are you doing with it? <laughs> okay. So I'm basically making like a... I'm waiting for Mystic to do her post office, right? Because I want to see how it goes. Uh -huh. But also, I want to make this a themed area right here around this same place. So... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, so I'm planning world. to have, yeah, I'm planning to have, like, certain, uh, similar builds to this, but, like, different variations. So, yeah. Hey, when do you think that would be? Probably next week. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. a little too soon. Okay, so Isn't it a little too soon? Well, no, I'm talking about, like, uh, because the thing I'm building is actually temporary. Oh? It's what a game. I'm building a game. Oh, oh, what kind of game? It's a treasure hunting game. Ah. Uh, you, you know what? You know what, Mr. Nation? Yeah, what's up? All right, so c c come with me, right? You go over here. All right, this is a big space for you. But do you want an actual bigger space? I is what you're requesting. Don't, I don't think I'll need more than this, actually. I didn't, didn't realize this was over here. <laughs> 
I'll just <laughs> take this piece out and there should be plenty of space and it would be like right. lengthwise right here maybe. Mm -hmm. mm, that sounds good. And this, this, game, this, this, this game starts on the first of the month. Just saying. Easter egg hunting? No, not Easter egg hunting. <laughs> just um just it's a treasure hunt. A treasure yeah. hunt. Alright. I do, do you need any help with it? Don't think so. Besides, if All you right. helped, you wouldn't really be able to participate. That is a great that's actually that's correct, because I mean I would know where the treasures are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, everything be will be crazy. explained in the rules on Discord. I'll be uploading it into Sunday's video, but all right, it's, not all a, right. it's not exactly a secret because it'll be posted in our Discord as soon as it's done to give people a chance to sign up before the first. I see. So what's the cheese that Beans is talking about? I, I'm kind of wondering because he did say cheese, and I'm like, why is he? Why is he asking for the cheese? Like, I'm maybe confused. It, maybe it's picture. Was it about this? Is it picture day? Could be do I look day. nice? I, I, you do yeah, look do, nice. Do I, look I like nice? your hoodie. Do I look nice? I look kind of um dead. I don't have inventory yeah, space. You, Helmet stays on, I guess. <laughs> you, you do look kind of you do look kind of dead. Yeah. Because oh God. Oh my God! You have a bald spot. You have a bald spot. <laughs> no, it's just it's just my hair. It's dead ghost. All my hair is dead, so it's turned spot. white. I think that's really great. It's funny that you have this resemblance of yourself as well. That's a pretty good thing. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like we have a new spot, and we're going to build it here. Let me go ahead and flatten this out. And I'm thinking we just build a big box out of uh, granite, brick, and then polished granite as well. I think will be the best way to do it. I think so. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, so these are the pedestals. We have first place, second place, and third place. Uh, first place is going to be made out of all of this gold. Um, second place will be made out of the polished andesite, kind of. They're all going to have blackstone mixed in. And then third place is going to be orange terracotta, because I think that kind of looks like a bronze color. I think it was either that or red sandstone that I was going to use, but I think I ended up deciding just going with terracotta. So what we need to do is we need to build this to be like the platforms, like this will be tall, that'll be not as tall, and then that'll be the shortest. And then we're also going to go ahead and mix in uh, some brick and polished granite as well. But we have to go ahead and uh, light this up because this is going to start spawning mobs as soon as we cap it off with a roof. And we do not want that. So I got the pedestals done. That'll be first, second, and third place respectively. That might need to be moved up. One level? Not entirely sure, but yeah, I used uh, brick, granite, and polished granite. But now I can go ahead and get rid of all of this granite. Finally, that's been clogging up my inventory, making it look all gross. Uh, put away these extra blocks and actually put this stuff back in my inventory. Uh, we shouldn't actually need anything other than that. But now we need the black stone. We did place down the stone cutter, all right. Um, I guess we're going to do the gold trophy first so I can show you guys basically how I'm doing it. I'll build the gold one uh, and then these two will be off camera, I think. That'll make things a lot easier. Okay, so we have slabs, blackstone stairs, and then uh, I think just blackstone walls maybe too. I don't think we have any regular sized blocks in here. Uh, we might need more stairs. I don't think we're going to need any more blackstone slabs. I mean, I guess we'll grab some while we're here. There we go. And I think that's everything we need for the entire build. All right, let's go ahead and fly up here or not grab our rockets. I ended up running out of um, brick, so there's no brick on this top bit. All right, we need to find the middle block, though. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one. That's the middle right there. Perfect. All right, so how are we going to do this? I built this on a creative world already, but I'm not entirely sure how I built it. I think I did something along the lines of this with the middle pillar going up. Although I guess the middle pillar doesn't actually need to be gold. And it is done. Nice. All right. 
Okay, so that is the gold one, and it should be in the center, I really hope. Okay, it is. So this is the gold trophy, the first place prize for the challenge. We will now build the silver one and the other one, and I guess we'll just come back when that's done. And then we gotta build the signs and stuff, but that is all fun and games. I might just go ahead and finish it up, to be honest. But yeah, that's the gold one. I think it looks fine. I will take the excess gold out because there's a lot of extra gold in here that just doesn't need to be in here. And then I'll probably just replace it with blackstone as well and maybe find a way to make it non-spawnable. How does it look from this angle? It's the same from all angles. All right, that actually looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and build the other two. Ow, that really hurt. And then I'll uh, update you guys uh, when I'm done. See you then. And it is done. Look at this. All right, so this is how it's going to work. This is a sign-up chest. This is the book that you have to read, and these are going to be all of the hints. You can purchase them in any order. In fact, you know what? Let me just go ahead and read the book uh, to you guys here. Go ahead and... Uh, Welcome to tr the Treasure Hunter Games. What is the Treasure Hunter Games? The Treasure Hunter Games is a server-wide treasure hunt you can sign up for to win massive prizes. How do you sign up? To sign up, you must go to the sign-up chest and put in a stack of diamonds along with a slip of paper renamed with your gamer tag. I still need to put paper and an anvil over there for that to happen. How do you win? After the game is started on the 1st of November, you must find a treasure box I have hidden somewhere on the server. Finding it will gain you or your team one point on the board. First person or team to 10 points wins. Teaming up. Sign up is per person, not per team. Everyone puts in a stack of diamonds. You may only team up in pairs, so no more than two players a team. What do you win? All the diamonds from the sign up charges uh, will be put into the winning diamond pool. First place, which I messed up, ob obviously, look at that, wonderful, <laughs> will get most of them along with prizes I add in. Second place will receive a small portion of the diamonds and a slightly smaller prize I will include. And uh, third place will receive a few diamonds along with a secondary prize I will make. Not as good as the first and second place, but still worth it for sure. What are the hints? The hints will help you find the treasures uh, currently hidden, or the treasure currently hidden. They are five diamonds per hint. Place the five diamonds in the barrel and press the button. There are ten hints, and they can be purchased in any order. Hints will change as the treasures are found and changed. If you are on a team, you do not need to pay five diamonds per player. It is five diamonds per team. If buying more uh, than one hint, you be sure to hit two different hints. Uh, all hints under hint one will be the exact same. The same to be said for the rest of them. You may buy all ten hints to help you. How many treasures are there? There will only be one tre uh, treasure box to find at a time. It will be named Treasure Games Box. Once it is found, give it to Shaddix, me, and I will put it on the scoreboard that will be made after the game begins, obviously. Hide the next treasure and change the hints. Because the hints will be different, you will need to repurchase hints for the different treasures. Basically, buying hint one will not guarantee you, will not allow you access to hint one for like boxes three, four, and five. You will have to pay for each individual hint you uh, purchase. Final notes, if you are going to team up with someone, be sure to let them know on Discord, or to let me know on Discord so I can make the scoreboard accordingly. You are not allowed to cheat to find the treasure. This means no cam accounts. If you are joining the server and missed the sign-up period or missed it for any reason in general, and you still want to play, message me on Discord and we will work it out so you'll get to play the game as well. Sign-up begins now. And the game begins on the 1st of November. Happy hunting, everyone, and good luck. I will... I'm going to need to rewrite this book. But, yeah, that's, um, oh, it's nighttime. All right, so this is done. Sign up has basically begun. I'm just going to put in some paper and anvils, or paper here and an anvil right next to it. I'm going to rewrite this book to fix the spelling mistakes because uh, apparently I'm terrible at that. And the games have kind of begun. Sign up for them has begun. And the treasures will go up there. One thing I want to go grab that is definitely going to be part of the first treasure. Now, we have not sold this respawn gear box, so I might as well take it and use it as a prize in the first place um, pot. And hopefully that'll intrigue people to work really hard on finding these treasures. Alright, I'm going to come back here after another day or two, I think, and see 
or after the first, I guess, because the first is uh, in a couple days, so that should be before this video goes up on Sunday, and we'll see who all is already signed up for everything. Uh, but for right now, I think we have to go and continue work on our industrial district, because our villagers need our help, because they are not zombies ready to eat them, and we really gotta, we gotta get that done. So I'll meet you guys back in the shopping district. Not the shopping district, the industrial district. There we go. And today is the day. First off, um, we only have two people signed up, Mystic and Lettuce, and we w do have more people signing up, they're just currently gathering diamonds, and haven't signed up just yet, but they still have time, but I'm gonna go ahead and hide this. Treasure Games Box number one, with the treasure number one, and it comes with a bit of golden carrots as well. Saves you a couple diamonds over at Mystic Shop, and you get something for getting a point on the board. Um, once... Uh, the game starts, I will go ahead and make the board, because more people are going to sign up uh, still. But I'm going to go hide this, I'm going to put in the clues, and then I think I might change a thing or two, and I'll be right back. Yeah, come on. Show me what you got. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. I'm sure you guys got this. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to take that because I don't have one of those yet. Thank you. That looks pretty cool. All right, now to hide this thing, though. Where are we going to hide it? All right, guys. That's an ouch, but uh, it's hidden. It's finally hidden. And I'm actually going to change a rule. In the book, it says that the hints are going to be five diamonds apiece. I am actually going to knock that down to two diamonds apiece to kind of incentivize people to buy hints a little more often. Uh, but right now, I think it's time to head back and show you guys the work I've done on the trading hall. Because that's actually 100% complete now. Cows! Finally, I've been wandering around forever looking for you guys. Because I'm going to a trading hall, and if I'm if you think I'm starting a raid when I get there, you are surely mistaken. And there it is! This is the roof! And if we fly down, I really like the way the roof looks, too. There we go! Look at this! All of the zombies are in, all of the villagers have the proper trades. I know this back wall doesn't look amazing, but I plan on expanding the shop shopping district my gosh i gotta stop that but i plan on expanding the industrial district to be more than just this one map and the next map i am gonna do is this one right here and i actually think i'm gonna be building a slime farm specifically here as well but then when that happens this will be dug out and i'm gonna mirror whoa it did that on the grass i'm gonna mirror the staircase here on that side so yeah it doesn't look that great right now over there but it's not gonna stay like that i promise you but i looked at the time again and i'm gonna do the same thing i did in the last video and that is hold off on my base until the next one i promise you guys hold it against me i promise you that i'm gonna work on my base in the next episode okay and i'm also gonna be wearing a different skin this is my halloween costume i am a waterbender full of arrows apparently yeah that's definitely a thing but I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and comment down below where you think the treasure might be hidden. And uh, as always, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to hit that bell because YouTube says so. So you got to do what YouTube says, you know what I mean? And I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.